I thoroughly enjoy working with students. It's not just about teaching the clarinet. It's more of a journey between teacher and student about learning more about life. I get as much from teaching the student as they get, I'm sure, probably more. Hi, my name is Dan Gilbert, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in New York City and developed an interest in music at a very young age because everybody else in my family played and I desperately wanted to be like them. So at the age of seven, my mother took me to the 92nd Street Y School of Music and they gave me a little music test. Um, the woman played a note on the piano and asked me to sing it. And I had never tried to match pitch before, so I sounded like some kind of zoo animal in heat. Um, and then she said, I have the perfect instrument for you. And she said, you're gonna play the clarinet because all you have to do is push down the buttons. So that's how I ended up beginning on the clarinet. Um, my first teacher was actually Charlie Nydick's father, Irving Nydick. I worked with him for a few years, and then I was at the Manhattan School of Music pre-college, all the way from sixth grade through when I graduated high school. I worked with a wonderful teacher named Judith Callen Freeman. And then I entered Yale University, where I was for my undergraduate, and to the Juilliard School for my master's degree and a professional study certificate. There at um, Juilliard, my teacher was David Weber. I also found him early in college and worked with him during those years as well. After I graduated from Juilliard, I moved out to Michigan um, and commuted to Chicago, to Evanston, to study with Robert Marcellus, where I took private lessons for a year. And then um, I moved back to New York and kicked around freelancing for a number of years. And in 1995, won a job with the Cleveland Orchestra as second clarinet. I held that job until 2007, when the University of Michigan came and asked if I was interested in having a position there. I did a lot of thinking about that, and I realized that when you learn, you're really only learning for one, but when you teach, you're able to pass on to generations your knowledge and what you've learned about being a musician. So I took the position, and I've now been there for eight years as Associate Professor of Clarinet. Michigan is a wonderful school, and I've thoroughly enjoyed working with the students there and enjoying a career as a solo clarinetist, chamber musician, and orchestral musician as well. When I initially started playing the clarinet, for me it was almost a sport. I wanted to be the best I could and, and almost better than everybody else. I was, I was an athlete and so I became an athlete on the clarinet. But over the years, playing the clarinet for me and making music is about connecting with people. And, and I feel very passionate about the music that I make and I want to share that joy and passion with the people around me. Now I play on um, Bakun Moba clarinets. Um, this particular one is a Moba silver plated clarinet. This instrument has allowed me to, to sing more on the instrument. It's, big, it's a mixture of a resonant voice and a flexible voice that allows me to be more operatic and vocal when I play the instrument. Being a musician is a beautiful journey of becoming one with your instrument and sharing that beauty with the people around you.